Everyone knows Neymar, he's built his name ever since he joined football, doing wonders on the field. With his current status, he earns millions per week with a very fat paycheck that beats others. Ever since Neymar joined football and received his very first check, he has become addicted to luxury, so much that he has bought some things that are even more expensive than anything you own. Well, unless you're also a millionaire like our boy here. But Neymar has taken luxury to a whole new level. Watch this video all the way through to find out some of the stupidly expensive things owned by Neymar. You'll be surprised how much this guy spends on luxury. Even before we go any further, let's talk about the fact that Neymar has spent $12 million to accomplish a childhood dream. Ever since Neymar was a kid, he has always imagined driving the cars that we see in Fast and Furious. This is why when he got his first Barcelona paycheck, he went straight to the dealership and came out with a Ferrari Spider. But by that time, he had no idea that this was going to be the cheapest car in his collection, having bought it at $275,000 US. I think he got a little too excited that he became addicted to buying cars. A few years later, he bought a Mercedes, a McLaren, an Audi, and so many exotic cars. He would get so much attention that any time he drove down the street, a crowd was running after him. He also has some pretty exclusive cars in his garage. We're talking about cars that are worth millions, such as his Maserati. This is not the normal Maserati that you see in rap videos. This is a Maserati that comes with a V12 engine that can go speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. But what makes it so exclusive is the fact that there are only 50 of them in the world. This is exactly why it has a price tag of $2 million. If you think that's the fastest and most expensive car that Neymar owns, then you are wrong. Right after he signed a deal worth $200 million, he decided to spend some of this money on the rarest cars in the world. The very first one cost him $4 million, has a top speed of 221 miles per hour, and there are only five in the world. We're talking about the Lamborghini Veneno. It looks like it is something straight out of a movie, but that's not the end. When Neymar realized that spending a couple of millions did nothing for his fortune, he decided to spend another 4.5 million on one of the most famous Fast and Furious scenes. So he went straight to the dealership, and now he rides in an all-black Lycan Hypersport, which is capable of riding at 245 miles per hour. But that is not yet the most expensive thing that Neymar has bought. But wait, how much does this guy have? Neymar has gone a step further to make sure that he does not deal with traffic again. You see, as much as Neymar has an addiction to cars, he does not have the luxury of waiting around in traffic like normal people. So when he was now earning millions, he decided to go big. Ever since he was young, Neymar has had an addiction to Batman. Given now that he has a deal worth $200 million, he decided to spend about $15 million of that to get a Mercedes-Benz. Batman-themed helicopter was no big deal. Imagine just flying into practice like a movie. Well, that's actually something he's done a couple of times. This thing is big enough to fit up to 10 passengers, and he customized it with his initials on the tail. Given that he now has a helicopter, he can't just land it anywhere. He would definitely need a place to land it, and that's why his $20 million mansion collection is one of the most insane ones you will ever see. By 2016, Neymar had already made enough money to buy his dream home, and now he literally owns a home on a movie set. Not the ones you see in Hollywood, though. Neymar decided to spend an incredible $14 million to get a home in the Beverly Hills of Rio, where they literally filmed The Expendables. This mansion was perfectly situated, making him the first athlete ever who could land his helicopter and dock his yacht, which is worth $8 million, by the way, in his own backyard. He could literally park them just like he parks his cars in his garage. As if that's not enough, the mansion also has a full-size tennis court, a beach volleyball court, and a basketball court, and even a football pitch. Wait, how big is this place? In addition to that, there is also an incredible pool, and that's just the outside. When you get to the inside, there are six bedrooms and bathrooms, an underground wine cellar, and a gym that could fit the entire PSG team and still have room for more. But Neymar felt it was not enough. So he spent millions to expand the mansion. He added another basketball court inside, which has one of the craziest NBA murals ever. However, keep in mind, this is just one mansion in an entire collection. In 2021, Neymar realized he had so many cars that he actually bought another mansion just to fit them all. One thing is that he loves his car so much that he cannot even think of selling any of them. And so he spent another $3 million to buy a Brazilian mega mansion that is a 20-car garage. 
But there is more to this mansion than the large garage, which hopefully will fit all of his cars. The mansion overlooks the mountains and has a squash court and an L-shaped pool. When you get inside, there are seven bedrooms, an elevator to get you through the floors, a bar, and even pool tables. In addition to keeping some of his best rides, this is also the house where Neymar kept his most expensive jewelry collection, which is unlike other footballers have. We all know that Neymar is an attention seeker, always wanting attention all the time, and this is why Neymar will always walk around with diamonds that shine brighter than a chandelier. He has one of the most insane watch collections ever. You may not know about it, but our guy here has been spending millions on some of the most exclusive watches out there. There was once a story that was published claiming that Neymar had once spent so much money on watches from a certain jeweler that the company decided to be his sponsor. The company even went further to build a whole brand of Neymar watches. And it's true. Neymar once went to a Tokyo jeweler and spent $180,000 on a single day, leaving there with 16 watches, and just when you thought that was enough for a lifetime, he has spent a little over $1 million on watches alone. Among this crazy collection is the Black Panther Automer Paget watch, but this is not the most expensive piece. He even has a Richard Mill watch which is worth $700,000. This guy literally has watches for each day of the month, and he is still going for more. But if you thought that you had seen one of his most expensive purchases ever, then you are in for a surprise. There are times when Neymar needs to get from country to country, and he definitely can't do this with his helicopter or one of his rides. His solution to this? Spending millions. This is why he became one of the very few football players to spend an incredible $14 million on an Embraer Legacy 450 private jet. Just the inside alone is enough to give his mansions a run for their money when it comes to luxury. With a capacity of 9 passengers, there are plush leather seats and so many accessories that make it seem like you're flying in a mansion. But there is an even bigger jet than this one. In case he wants to fly around with a larger group, he has a Cessna Citation Sovereign jet which is worth an insane $22 million. He's customized it with his initials all over, making sure the world knows when he lands. He spent a total of $36 million on private jets when he had the offer of being given a free private jet by PSG. Neymar seriously has a spending addiction because he already spent over $40,000 on one video game alone. But then again, with that much money, he has no problem getting all these things. His barber even revealed that Neymar spends a little over $2,000 on his haircut alone. His spending addiction is so serious that he can't walk out of a store if he has not spent $18,000. Ever since Neymar started earning millions, he has just been spending. So which of Neymar's collections do you think is the craziest? Thank you so much for watching, and take care.